Hi there, it's Margaret from Days Well Spent, and in today's video, we're going to cover the parts of the Warm Factory 360. So the first part you have is your base, and one of the reasons we chose the Warm Factory 360 is because, as you see, there's a little spigot here that's going to allow us to drain off warm compost tea. After you have your base or your stand, you're going to have what they call a worm ladder. Place that down. And with the worm ladder, it allows any worms that end up down in the base to easily crawl back up into the trays where they belong. All the Worm Factory 360s come with an informational booklet, and it also comes with a link so that you can get more information online. The bedding material that's included is a bag of pumice, some core, which is actually coconut shell that has been shredded up and dehydrated, and a bag of shredded newspaper clippings. You have a bin here, and this is a bin that you use to mix your bedding. And then once you're done mixing your bedding, it slides underneath and works as a drip bucket in case any compost tea might drip out. Next are your trays, and depending on the kit that you order, it's going to come with anywhere from four on up to eight trays. You can purchase extra trays later. They stack onto your worm bin like so. and you add to them as your worms break down the food. Finally, it's gonna be your lid, and it does have some information here on top of the lid that you can always refer back to on caring for your worm bin. It simply sits on top of the tray. Now, some of the optional items that the different kits include are gonna be your minerals, and this is going to add some extra vitamins to the, for the worms, a scraper, and that allows you to scrape the bins when you're cleaning it out to get your compost out. A little digger in case you don't want to use your hands and then these last two items are really important this is going to be your moisture meter because worms need a nice moist area but they don't like to dry out or be really soggy and then your thermometer the thermometer is going to allow you to keep your worm bin at the ideal temperature if you have any questions about the parts or the accessories to the worm factory 360 let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them if you're curious about how to set up a worm bin, stay tuned because we're going to be sharing that with you next.